name is Mrs. Miles and I'm at Barbara Bush Elementary. I'm just eating my breakfast. Typical morning. And I was looking at this cereal box. And I was thinking, this would be an awesome puppet theater. So, I'm going to finish my breakfast, get dressed, and then I'm going to show you how to make a puppet theater out of a cereal box. Find a space to work and make sure that it is clear. Step one, find a cereal box. You are going to locate where it is glued together and gently pull it apart at the edges. You will do it all the way down. You are also going to make sure that you unglue the bottom of the box as well. Lay the box flat, brown side up. Now that your box is flat, you are going to need to flip it over. I'm going to show you a couple parts. We have the top panel where the nutritional information is. We have the center, the cover, and also the back panel. Flip it back over. The nutritional information will need to be on top. You're gonna locate the folds on the box, on the top and on the bottom. Fold the bottom up, and then you are going to take your scissors and cut along that fold. After you've cut off your back panel, you are going to want to put it aside because you are going to use it for a different part of the project later. Then you're going to turn your cereal box. You're going to make sure that once again this nutritional information is at the top. You'll notice that the original top of the box is now on the sides. And you are going to take a pen and you are going to find the middle of the box, approximately the middle of the box, from these two corners, and you're gonna create a triangle. So I've discovered that this is the top of my box, right in the middle, and you're just gonna draw a line to make, oh, I did not do that line very well, so I'm going to redraw it. You're going to draw a line to make one half of the triangle. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I tore that off because it'll be a little bit easier to draw my line. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you're just gonna draw your line as straight as you can to make the triangle. This is going to be the top of your theater. <clears throat> so you're gonna take your scissors again and you are going to cut. might want them when we're um, on the next part, but it is not necessary. So I'm going to put those aside. So now I have the top of my triangle, the top of my theater. Okay, next, you have this big piece that is the center of the box. You're going to take your pen and you're going to draw a very big rectangle in the middle. You want to leave space on either on all sides of your rectangle so that um, it can help it stand up. So you're going to just do your very best to draw a straight line. Now that I've drawn my box, it's time to cut it. So I am right-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand to pinch the box. I'm gonna put my right hand underneath 
to help with pinching the box. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna try and cut. Oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna pinch it again. It's kind of hard to pinch it. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, so it's easier if I fold the box and then use my scissors and try to cut it. You have to squeeze really hard because this cardboard is kind of hard. So I squeeze, didn't get it. Squeeze again, cut. You might have to ask for a grown up's help. Oh, there it goes, I cut it. And now that I've cut a hole, I'm gonna put my scissors into that hole and I'm gonna cut around to the edge of the rectangle that I have made. You can save this piece for later. So now I have this nice big hole. So I noticed that I made this side a little bit smaller than this side, so I'm actually gonna draw another line to kind of even it out. me to have just a little bit more space for my puppets. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so now I have, this is going to be my stage. So you notice on the back of this side, it's all decorated, lots of different colors, but on this side, it is plain. So this is the part that is going to be out that everyone will see when you are doing your puppet show. So we have to make it look pretty. So first thing I'm going to do, I have, I have some um, different colored markers here. <clears throat> and I am just gonna put a little bit of decoration on here. it colorful you can paint it if you want you can also color it all the same color or if you want to do what I am doing you just need to very easily decorate it I think I'm gonna use one more color and a bright blue would look nice. Okay, and then on this top here, since this is the top of my puppet theater, I'm gonna use a nice dark color and I'm gonna title it. So I'm gonna call this Mrs. Miles. Puppet. Theater. So that everyone who comes to my show will know exactly which theater this is. If you decide that you want to paint your project, um, what you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of paint brushes, you're going to need some paint. I have acrylic on hand and you'll also want to have something to cover the surface that you're working on. I happen to have this piece of paper hanging around my house that'll provide a nice cover for my painting.
have cut out and decorated your um, cereal box on the outside, it is now time to assemble your cereal box. So here I have all my pieces. I have my um, triangle at the top. I have the original bottom and top of the box on the side. And then this is a panel. So here's what you're going to do. You need to flip over your cereal box so that the decoration from the original cereal box is on top. You are going to then fold up this base right here. And then you are going to fold in the side and then stand it up so that the base is on the bottom. Put these two pieces together. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some tape. Grab a piece of tape about that long. And then you are going to just Place it right there. Yeah, press kind of hard. And then you're going to take another piece of tape and you are going to place it right on the corner of those two pieces. That'll help make it a little bit stronger. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. You're going to fold this side piece in. I'm going to fold this little tab on top. Fold the little tab on top. I'm going to take your tape and push it down. Let me push it down. And then, so if you notice, I have a little bit of tape, extra tape right here. I can just take my scissors and I can trim it all, remove all the excess, and once it's small enough, I can just push it down. So there you have it. There is your puppet theater. And now you will see that it will stand up on its own. <coughs> And if it doesn't stand up on its own, what you need to do is you just need to get something heavy. So I'm going to grab my tape, and I'm going to grab my um, scissors, and I'm going to put it on there, and that will help it stand straight up. And this will also help whenever you're doing your performance, having something heavy down here so you don't accidentally knock it over with your hands. Um, you might even want to put something a little heavier, as long as it's not in view of the bottom the stage of your box. It is good. And now that your puppet theater is completely assembled, you can start working on your puppets. So put this aside. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna grab that piece, the back piece that you cut off yesterday, and you're gonna use it for today. So you're going to flip it over so that we have the nice clear space again. So I have decided the story I'm going to tell is the three little pigs. So what I need to do is I need to draw the three pigs and I need to draw the wolf. I have decided that for my project, all I'm going to do is the pig heads. Now you need to remember that when you are making your puppets, that they need to fit inside, that you need to be able to have multiple characters inside this space. So don't draw them too big. So, and I'm only going to make the heads. And then what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna take my permanent markers or my crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have. And I am going to color them in. So I have this nice, pretty pale pink. And remember, since this background is brown, it's not gonna show up quite as bright, um, especially if you're using markers as if you had it on a white background. So keep that in mind as you're drawing, that it's not gonna be quite as bright. And so I might actually switch to a different pink for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of the pigs, because that also changes up the character just a little bit, makes it a little bit more noticeable. And if you want, you can paint them different colors if that's something that you like to do. I know I've had some of my students for, uh, painted some of the projects that I've given them. I thought that was really cool. I just don't have very many paints at my house, but I have lots of permanent markers. Now that my pigs are done, I am going to cut out each pig. Now that you have finished your puppets, it's time to draw in the puppets and cutting them out. It's time to turn them into actual puppets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need some um, flat objects. I have some pins and color pencils and a pin hanging around. Um, if you have popsicle sticks, that'll work, or a pencil, whatever you have, you just need something long and skinny. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use some tape you're gonna flip one of them over. You're gonna want the end of the pencil to line up with the bottom of your puppet. You're gonna press really, really firmly. <clears throat> so I have a little of extra tape. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut off that extra tape. So there's pig one. Now this one was a little harder because the pin was a little bit bigger, so you might try and find just pencils um, to finish up your pigs. Set up your theater. Make sure you have something heavy on the bottom to hold it up. Practice holding your puppets to make sure that you can do more than one puppet in each hand. It can be tricky, but I think you can do it. If you have anything special in your show, make sure that your special effects work, that they pop up like they're supposed to or stay up like they're supposed to. If not, figure out a solution for making them to stay up. I use tape. Work out any problems that you may have that will prevent you from performing your show well. Practice your placement and where your puppets are gonna stay when they're not on stage.
The more you practice, the better you get. Now it is time for me to perform my show and I want to show you a couple things that I've done um, off camera. I have actually designed my houses and I have taped them in down here so that when I'm ready, I can make them come out and show on the stage. I also created a wolf for our, um, for our story. And don't forget, you may need something heavy to hold your puppet theater up. So we start out our story and we have our three pigs. And they are walking along. I'm going to make my house out of straw. And he walks off. I'm going to make my house out of sticks. And he walks off and she says, well, I'm the smartest, so I'm going to make mine out of bricks. And she walks off. So then he comes back and he's building his house and he's building his house. And now his house is ready. And I had a piece of tape ready to hold it in place. And then you can have, actually, you can have your puppets kind of rest right on top. Uh, the top of the pencil is leaning against the top of the puppet theater, and I kind of just stuck them in right there. And then this one comes in. Well, I'm going to build my house out of sticks. And his house is ready. And I had a little piece of tape there waiting. And so he's now going to rest in his house. And then she comes on stage and she says, well, I'm going to build my house out of bricks. And she hammers and she glues and she works really hard and it takes longer than the others. And then her house is ready. And she's tired, so she actually goes to sleep in her house. Well then, the big bad wolf comes along and he sees all of the little pigs. So he walks over to the first house. He says, little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he blows the house in and this house goes back to where it started off stage and this little pig runs over to his brother's house and then the wolf comes around And he says, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And it goes right back to where it started. Ah! So then, Three pigs run over to their sister's house. Two pigs run over to their sister's house and say, please, 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 help us, help us, help us. The wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. And she says, well, he can't blow down my house because my house is made out of bricks. And the wolf comes around and he says, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> oh, I guess I can't have this house. And he walks off sad. And the three pigs, they rejoice, yay! And they all live happily ever after in the brick house together. The end.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fun time making your puppet theaters. I hope that you'll keep these around and you can make other puppets uh, for different stories and retell them while you're um, not at school or maybe over the summertime, you can save this for a different day. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you did too. Thank you so much. Bye.